It feels a little very weird. Like there's like a like a, a chill vibe going on right now. Not like a weird vibe, but like it's like very like relaxed and not tense and like zen. I'm I woke up today with zero thoughts. Yeah. I uh, fully agree. I like I have nothing to give to the world and I don't know what's gonna happen for the for this episode because mm -hmm. I literally I don't know. I actually feel the same way and I still have zero thoughts right now. Yeah. Same. Like it's like I, nothing is going on in my brain, which is like crazy because that never happens. Everything is always happening all the time in my brain. Literally everything everywhere all at once. Um, but yeah, welcome back to emergency intercom. Did you just take that flat Coke out of the fridge for your caffeine of the day? Yes. Uh, I was like, I wonder why I'm feeling like shit right now. And it's because I haven't had my watered down flat coca-cola of the day you have two mm -hmm. you have two to choose from no, this is actually dr pepper which like oh i'm like kind of dabbling with i like am normally a very anti dr pepper person strictly coca-cola but right now i'm in a dr pepper phase and it's kind of crazy i think they gave me dr pepper because that my drink did not taste like coke yesterday i i've been sipping on it it's coke it tastes so funny. Like yeah. yesterday, I only had a few sips because I was like, this isn't giving me that like that Coke pizzazz. This you've sounds like drinking, a fake Coke ad. You've been drinking the like Mexican colas, like the Mexican Cokes. And I think like those, those definitely taste very different. And I think maybe you might be used to that one because we've been drinking a lot of those recently. Yeah. Those are the best ones. I It's either canned Coke or like mexican coke in a glass bottle because if you are drinking coke out of a plastic bottle which is something you do you're a menace to society you're probably you don't have much longer to live i don't know how to explain that one those bva plastics are infusing with water and that's <laughs> why i am the way i am or with the coca-cola your microplastics from your coca-cola in the plastic bottle babe we need more microplastics like i think we've made this comment before but that that is how you really knew you like what class your family was in when you were growing up is if your family bought the two liter of coke or separate cans <laughs> my family was a two liter coke and mine was separate cans but we bought also with that said we bought like shasta cola i know somewhere out there knows what shasta cola is and it's like it's like dr thunder shasta cola <laughs> like um <laughs> mountain Thomas. lightning or some shit like that and it's literally just all off-brand sodas and shasta honestly tastes better than coca-cola but i can't find it here so i'm just stuck with coca-cola but i grew up on shasta that shit was so fucking good and they then my mom only drank cream soda growing up i think the popular like flavored sodas in miami like Publix makes their own flavors but I, th I might be tripping, but I think it was Crush. Like, Crush was the, like, flavored soda that I had all the time because they used to sell it at my school for 50 cents. Um, and the Strawberry Crush or the Grape Crush. But there's another brand that I can't think... Oh, wait. That, I think that might be... Yeah, I know what that is. Shasta. That's actually the brand I'm thinking of. Oh, uh, like these cans? Yeah. Like that can in particular? Oh, dude, I'm actually never going to remember. There's another one that's, like... It's kind of like a brand that does that. It's not Crush. There's a brand that does that kind of shit that they would sell at school and I can't remember. It might be that same brand because they do like all the off-brand ones. Because um, we never had Coke. It was always like a cola drink, but no fucking freak was drinking the fake cola. Mountain Rush. <laughs> we got Shasta Cola Strawberry. And we dabbled in that a little bit. Um, what else did we drink? Shasta? Who the fuck came up with that? That has to be someone's name and they're like, it's an ode to them because who was I, like, oh my God, you know what up, we should call our soda? Shasta. Every time I look it up, there's like Mountain Shasta and I'm like curious if like <laughs> the water place? is like oh, taken yeah, from Mount the Shasta's creek. Oh yeah, Mountain Shasta's in Washington. Yeah. I think. I'm curious if they take the water from the creek in Mount Shasta and make Shasta Cola and pollute <laughs> it. Also, have you ever thought about like, 
a Coca-Cola. Like we are literally drinking sludge. Like I shouldn't be drinking something that I can't see through. And the fact that I can't see through this and this is going to my body and my kidneys and liver are having to filter this every fucking day is like actually crazy. And then I get to thinking, I'm like, I wonder why I'm depressed. And I'm like, oh, I'm also drinking like a liter of Coca-Cola a day. That's an exaggeration. But there's, there's a correlation there. I don't know what it is, but the fact that I'm drinking this sludge is probably why I'm depressed. Yeah, who was saying that? Someone was literally saying that to me. Oh, I, when I was in um, a store in New York, the worker was talking to me and they were talking about how like they really like Snapple and they were like, um, I don't count like calories from drinks because like there's no way to calculate that because we just shouldn't be fucking having it like Period. water has zero like calories because that's the only like we shouldn't be consuming a beverage that like also partakes in like carbs and calories yeah like they were like that's just like that seems like not what god intended <laughs> at all like not we even on drink, like like literally like mud water like tea leaves like tree leaves yeah. and water and that's it like that's what our bodies were made to process and somehow we're processing sludge i know i was thinking about that and then i was like but that's not gonna stop me from drinking coffee but i'm just such a drink girl no, that, i love a drink honestly low-key like coffee's natural like beans yeah they're they come from beans beans my milk is coffee so will be f extinct. oils <laughs> yeah i need my oils and microplastics <laughs> like that's another thing is like all these vegan substitutes are hella like like processed and like yeah. probably really just as bad for you than like eating an animal i don't think there's any um like diet that's good for you other than like this is so annoying because like i don't want to be like this is a good diet for you because i don't know shit from shit but i would think like the good not diet for raw. you is the diet that's good for you yeah that is that is the truth but i'm like on a just a human level not raw veganism because like bitch you can like use a fire like cavemen mm -hmm. you had fires like i don't know why you have to not cook shit um but like just like that kind of vegan i'm like that is the most primal diet you can do <laughs> that's like, what mean, like i'm hunting, eating gathering like, <laughs> our nuts and berries from the forest like and, that like, is eating so them. crazy yeah but even but then even like then, didn't they had we, animals yeah i was like didn't we like hunt animals we beat and, the fuck out of some chickens yeah, yeah <laughs> like this is good as the hell. only reason why i think we talked about this the only reason why we're alive is because the women just gathered the nuts and berries and we had our protein and the men would go out on our stupid fucking hunts <laughs> once a month and come back like, and chase each other around with yeah, sticks and stones and before. come back with like an elk every three months and then that's like all the village had to eat and the only reason we're alive is because the nuts and berries um also the drink our drink in miami or like in my area that was popular was fago we were literally like Cream a fago. soda fago damn i'm still drinking i don't know what that is from six dogs rest in peace oh um but strawberry fago and grape fago Girl, you're a juggalo my world wait what is it juggalo yeah, Juggalos. Yeah, Fago's like the, the sponsored drink of Juggalos. Really? Yeah. I think I found that out in like high school and it greened me out because I was like, that's not, I've never heard that word in my life. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Fago was the thing you would go on Wednesdays at my elementary school. They would sell Papa John's pizza for a dollar a slice and then they would have the usual, the pickled eggs, the pickled sausage. Mm -hmm. Um, Airheads, Fago, yes, Hot I love Chips. Being an airhead. Um, did you ever go like this with an Airhead? Uh, everything I'm saying oh, right now, I feel yeah. like I've literally oh, said on the fucking absolutely. podcast. Absolutely, you shake it down. You so it comes like a little tootsie roll. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember the kid who went on to try and bully me later on taught me that, and it was this kid who um, like I used to be really close with. And then once we got to like middle school, we became distant for like no real reason. But I think he had like a lot of jealousy because he used to jealousy, like me. Jealousy, so he was like really mean yeah. to me. Um, but it never hurt my feelings because I was like, this is just really sad. From a very young age, I could see through it. And I was like, damn, this is really sad. You're like trying to battle this rejection from me by being mean to me. But I'm the one you want. And it's not going to work out. You need to write a song about that. Oh, and then from one time. his perspective. <laughs> And then one time his best friend at the time um, came up to me and asked me out and my best friend at the time was standing next to me and because I was a belligerent cunt, 
she jumped in and belligerent. Was really- oh my god! Hey, <laughs> and you dropped the first belligerent in two episodes. Let's celebrate! <laughs> wah, 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 wah. I think I said it last episode. Have I not been saying it? I don't know if you said it last episode. You know what it is? It's because at the end of the day, oh, like, wait, bitch, we had an entire fucking conversation about it. I think. Um, no, at that the end was of the, the episode. that was the the Zoom episode. I don't know. Anyways, but the thing about me is, I will cling on to one word yep. for a certain amount of time, and then you will never hear it out of I'm my the mouth same again. Fucking way. So there's a chance that belligerent is dead and gone. Yeah. Um, but she, she maybe like, it's not. She had a dead cat bounce. Like she came back for a moment, and then she's gone. Um. But I was a belligerent cunt, and my friend tried to be funny and like swoop in, and she was like, "No, she's not gonna fucking date you." Like she was so mean to this kid. But I actually really liked this kid, like not romantically, but I thought he was like really cool and like a sweet person. So he literally got so sad and like cried, and I felt so fucking bad. Um, and it was in front of the kid who was trying to bully me, and then he was like, "See, she's such a fucking bitch," like about me, and I was like, "How the fuck? Girls are is this bitches. my fault." Yeah, girls are cons. Girls like suck balls, like literally. <laughs> you know, I was gonna wear those uh silver clips. Yeah, I was gonna wear them today and I didn't realize you had them on, but like we literally would have been matching had I worn them. But I had one in the one your anime one that I literally stole from you. I had it in. But my hair is like too thick. Yeah, so it like that, sits on top. Yeah, it doesn't like pin my hair down. It literally just like my hair will fall with it anyways. That's why I stopped wearing them because it, I, it was good when my hair was really thinned out and short because mm-hmm. I could just clip them onto my head and they wouldn't do that. But now, yeah, they like sit on the top layer. And then when you move, it moves around and yeah. it looks so fucking It looks ugly. just beat as fuck. I need to um, do something about my hair. We need to both do something about yeah, our hair. Something big <laughs> is coming with the hair. Like, let's just say that. Like, Not something on my big end. Is I don't know what's going to happen. Something big is coming. Um, I'm going to avoid getting a haircut because I don't want to lose any length, even though my ends are belligerently dead. Like- hey! <laughs> Come on, belligerent. Wait, have you gotten a haircut since we started the podcast? No, I have not like trimmed my hair at all. But okay. I think my ends are just like fully breaking off. Now, finally, especially when I straighten it, like there is length to it. But my hair is just too thick. Like it's, I don't know how to explain it. It like doesn't look as thick, but like if you go to touch my hair, it like doesn't feel awesome. Like, I don't know. It, it's like, not like in an unhealthy way, but like there's just this stack of fluff right here from all the layers that are gathering right here and Girl, finally that's growing you don't out. Fucking brush or wash your hair. It's matted. no. I brush my hair every single day, especially to thin it out. So I don't know what to do, and I don't want to go get it thinned out because then it's gonna re-add those layers. Like, so and then I'm what are you lose supposed life. to do? Just have it grow out and then you like chop it. Um, what I should do now is get like get an inch in. trimmed off so that like it just like. It'll seem like it's growing faster because I'm sure I'm experiencing like end break off because my oh. ends right now are the part that was like bleached. So in certain lights, you could see that it's like a way lighter shade than my natural color. Um, but I don't want to do that because I refuse to lose any length on my hair. Because my um, hair will be longer than yours once you do that. The thing is you say that, but it's like never once been longer than mine. It's longer than yours just because I have or you can't tell because I have curls. Like, if we straighten my hair, it would be longer than yours. It would be done. We both have curly hair, so I don't know. Like, the only difference right now is I've brushed my hair out. I've got the ringlets at the end. I pulled one of Because you don't brush your hair. (laughs) I pulled one of Drew's curls, and it it went all the way down to his ass. Yeah. That's just not true. Look at him yanking it out for length right (laughs) now. No, you know what's fucked up is that, like... I do not take care of my hair so much that like literally little baby dreads start forming in the back. And like when I'm brushing my hair, like every once, every two weeks, I literally have to pull it to the front and just fucking <laughs> rip out the little <laughs> mat ball. And I just like, okay, that rip ma- it there out. was one on the couch yesterday and I yeah. thought it was a fucking bug. And I was no. like, oh my God. And it was just a ball of hair. Yeah. And I was folding my laundry. So I was like, is this lint? But it wasn't. It was like human hair. <laughs> no, it's my like, it's, it's my so little beat. It's my little like ball of hair that I have to break out. And you can, like, see how fucked up my hair is from it. Like, do you see that? How it's, like, all short in different spots and shit? Yeah. Yeah, that's, like, fuck. what's I don't deserve my this hair. hair. I do not deserve it. I take care of my hair for the most part. No, actually, I do a good job of taking care of my hair. The problem is um, it's just the ends are bleached. And the color keeps fading, but I don't want to keep adding color. Because last time I did it, my ends were, like, black. And then I took a flash photo of myself, and it was, like, brown and then black. And I was like, oh, my God. And I was really embarrassed. 
Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Did the like texture of your guys' hair ever change? Because uh, like my hair used to be straight and now it's like kind of curly. Um, no, my ha- my hair did because of bleaching it. Like, oh really? Um, and also with with length, your hair can change because of like how heavy it gets. Yeah. So realistically, like. I'm very fucking excited for my hair to be long because then like right now, since the ends are so short, the end like or the front like framing parts are so short, they wring it up really heavy when I like let my hair dry. And then the back, because it's more heavy, it like kind of weighs down and it doesn't get as curly. Um, That's not what happens to me. Because my you hair have just less falls naturally beautiful. Look how fucked up your head I'm looks right now. Insert like, the photo like, of you at uh, Devin's pool. <laughs> like the thing is, like I wish I had the delusion you had because look at how fucked up the top of your head is. Fuck you. Like it is so frizzy and now fucking you're being scary. Mean. Now you're being mean, and now I'm insecure, and now I have to go get a baseball cap. Oh I'm, my god! I was showing virgin top of my head. I've never ever done that. I was like, you know, I'm gonna be brave today and not wear a baseball cap because, like, you know, people probably think I'm bald under there, but no <laughs> baseball cap incoming because then you had to fucking attack my hair. I did not attack your hair. You can't. Look he what was, you did. You fucked it up. I don't care. He was literally gaslighting me. Anytime I spoke about my hair, he had to one up me and say that his hair was more beautiful when I'm opening up about my insecurity about my hair. Which hat do you think it's going to be? You think it's going to be Moa Loa or Praying? Uh, it's going to be Praying, I think. Baseball cap is just oh, like yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Just uh-huh. like yesterday when I, or last episode when I was like, you know, I'm feeling kind of depressed. And you were like, actually, I'm really happy. So it goes both ways. I was lying. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally lying. Well, I was lying too. <laughs> about being Depressed? Sometimes no, I feel about like... my hair being prettier than yours. Oh. I know it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> I feel like this is like cat. marriage counseling sometimes. <laughs> there will be like periods where I'm like, oh, wait. No, it is. Sometimes it gets like so real for no reason. Not on my end, though, because I know how to control myself. Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That was there a microaggression. That was a microaggression. What? I know how to control my emotions. Like, I'm just like a well kept. There it goes again. Person. What? what? Am I saying something wrong, guys? I'm just talking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I need to get a hair trim, but I fucking refuse. So my hair will just continue to break off and stay this length for the next five years. Um, because I'm not going to do what every TikTok tells you to do. What is that? To give your hair a trim. Every fucking know. bitch who cuts hair is like, you need to trim your hair. I-, I saw someone do like a display where they poked holes in a thing and like pulled out yarn and showed that like your split ends will just continue to break if you don't do it. And I was like, oh, that's nice. And then I just ignored it. Slay. And I kept moving on with my life. Slay. We're both so obnoxious right now with our shirts. And that's it. That's all I have to say. Because they're both really good shirts, but it's like obnoxious, like graphic tee slay. What do you mean? Like, both of our shirts are, like, <laughs> annoyingly priced. No, mine was cheap. What's cheap? What I is got che- mine for cheap. <laughs> How much is cheap? <laughs> These are normally, like, $400, and I got it for $75, <laughs> which is cheap for, like, this shirt. I know $75 for a fucking 20-year-old t-shirt is ridiculous. No, that, but that's what I'm saying is, like, within, like, there's, like, certain parts of the internet that, like, get that, and they, they don't question it because, like... Which were kind of on that side where we're like, no, that's like a good t-shirt. Like, it's good. Um, and then there's other parts who are like, I would literally never spend that on a t-shirt. Um, but if you're like a part of the t-shirt slay, you're a part of the t-shirt slay. Anyway. Like, if you get it, you get it. Like, vintage graphic tees. The 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 way the shirt falls, the way the The way the shirt caresses your body. And like, the way the fabric feels. Like, the t-shirt making companies just don't do that anymore. So I refuse to wear any like brand new shirt other than my Claro merch. The way someone else's sweat has thinned out the fabric. Exactly. So it's like literally the thinnest fabric it's, on planet it's Earth. It's bleached a little bit and there's like holes in fraying <laughs> and the graphic is cracked. It's just like, yeah, perfect. Perfect in every way. I literally, I genuinely have nothing else to say. Also, they like, one time <laughs> like, I, I stood up to, to slap Kai in the episode and there was like a stain on my pants and like this stain has literally been here for like probably two years on these pants and I sit up and they were like, oh, Drew has like ketchup stain on his pants. I wonder if he was eating french fries before or something. And I was like, 
no it's literally pain like it's been here forever and now i can't wear these pants out in public because of you motherfuckers <laughs> Because I'm insecure. Literally, everybody attacks my insecurities all the time. It's crazy. It's funny how one episode you can go from being the most big-headed person ever and, like, <laughs> loathing I'm in your sexiness. I'm depressed right now. I'm depressed right now. So now the sexy compliments, they don't get through. No, they don't come through. You know what you need? They need to be louder. <laughs> I need. They need to be heard. I need to hear them. <laughs> um... I forgot where it was. Oh, we need to put you on like the TLC re- uh, makeover video and uh, show and see what they would do to you. Like, they I wonder. Literally, there's like not a thing they would fucking do to me because I'm <laughs> literally like already like basically perfect. But it's hard for me to see that. But other people see that in me. So like it, they wouldn't really have to change anything about me. They would just have to like be like, you're perfect. And then like I, my complete my demeanor would completely change. The the tv industry used to be so fucking crazy because i'm like really thinking about that show and i used to watch the fuck out of that show that show is so fucked up they would literally film these people out for like two weeks to get their ugliest fucking fits on camera and then show it to the world and then that girl and guy would just stand in the room and be like you don't fucking care about yourself you're so fucking ugly and like would just say that to their face and this like poor person would just be like i'm so sorry like I, this is how what makes me feel good and they'd be like that's really sad that's so sad like, you need you to so- conform more you need to be more like a normal person and conform we're gonna make you normal um we're gonna normal pill you and all the, literally all they take your normal pills <laughs> I don't have any normal pills. I was born normal. I've been normal. I s- What? <laughs> I was saying if the AC was on, and it is. I could hear it buzzing the entire time. It's fine. Um, I put it on because I was scared of how like sweaty we would get because I was like getting sweaty walking around. I sweat way too easily, and it's like a problem. I like don't get to wear tank tops in the summer because it's really fucked up. Yeah, I was just talking to Mason about that yesterday. Like, I, like, don't, like, my skin on skin will make me sweat 10 times more, so I have to wear a t-shirt to catch my sweat, because then it'll trick my body into stop sweating. You should just go naked around the house. No, that... I don't care. I I wouldn't, I wouldn't care if you did that. No, but I would sweat more, Drew, if I was naked. But I'm just saying you should just do that, just for fun, for me. Wait, for you? Or for you, so you, like, chill out. You need to (laughs) fucking chill. (laughs) Like, you need to fucking chill right now. Dude, the world feels so quiet right now. I'm actually greening out. I know. It's, like, scaring the fuck out of me. Like, are we the the only three people? Yeah, we're the only three people alive. Like, I'm not kidding. I was just saying that. Like, why haven't I heard a car go by, a plane zoom by? Like, I haven't heard anything. What if, like, I've been manifesting this by watching The Last Man on Earth? Like, what if we are the last three on Earth and we have to repopulate the Earth? I would immediately kill myself. Girl, oh, my God, wait. The world is ending because you're not having sex with Kai and I can't have sex with you. I literally just said very loud and clearly, I will kill myself. Like <laughs> Me and we... Drew will just try to have a child. For <laughs> we'll years. make it work. I'll like break into the estrogen factory and we'll try to figure <laughs> it out. Break into the estrogen factory. We'll try to figure it out. <laughs> Saying it like it's like a fucking toy factory. <laughs> I'll break into the estrogen factory. There's got to be one on this earth. Do you think Google would still be up if the world ended like how long would it still be up for i think it would be up for a, quite a while oh then we would be so fine i could learn how to fly a plane and we could go literally anywhere <laughs> in the world. i'm serious like we could literally you go think anywhere. you could learn how to fly a plane from google well, i yes that's like how pilots learn basically like they do like flight simulators and shit i'll drive to a flight sim like learn how to fly in that and we can go literally anywhere anywhere on the world and live out like the last like five years of our lives because we would be killed by something but isn't the fun in like traveling seeing other people so then you would just get to these like desolate places (coughs) and it would be kind of sad experiencing it shared experiences experiencing it with other people you would only be experiencing it with kai because in this hypothetical (laughs) i am dead you wouldn't have well, even I given so him the rapture- fucking I can't be left with him. <laughs> Dur- you well, can, why not? He'll attack me. I I'm understand. not going to No, I actually understand. I understand what? that feeling. Sometimes, well, I don't know what happens. Sometimes when you go to your room and it's just me and Kai in the kitchen, like, I check my pockets to make sure I have something. He to steals. He lies. He attacks. I've never done any of that. Oh, that's exactly like someone what someone who does that. Yeah, that's exactly what they would say. That's weird. 
I knew you wouldn't even give it like two I can't days. Even look at him. I can't no, motherfucker. <laughs> I would fucking kill myself. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding instantaneously. Like, without like, <laughs> without a second thought, like, it would be done. You wouldn't even like attempt to repopulate the earth. No, bitch. I don't want to be pregnant on the earth for nine months. <laughs> Because that's but, the thing. It's okay, like when no. you think about Imagine like repopulating. Imagine baby running around. With no fucking friends. It's going to be a murderer and kill us. No, it wouldn't. And then the thing is, well, our baby would have to have sex with Kai. And we would have to wait till it's 18. <laughs> so then we would have to wait 18 years. <laughs> we would have to wait 18. But what if it was a boy? <laughs> then our baby would have to have sex <laughs> <laughs> with me. <laughs> I mean, that's literally what happened, right? <laughs> yeah. Like this. And I don't want to be a part of it. Aren't people with blue eyes like incest babies? <laughs> like they have more incest in them? I have to look that like up. fucking 53% of the people watching it who have <laughs> this right now with blue eyes are just staring at the screen. <laughs> They're being accused of being incest babies. I don't think that many people have blue eyes. There's no way. I think because I live in LA, my perception of the amount of people with blue eyes has gone up, but it's just because all, that's the scary thing. All people blue eyed people in the world have a single common here. ancestor from 6,000 to 10,000 years ago. <gasps> that's embarrassing. Weird. That is so embarrassing. Weird. Ew. Not your, not your family timeline being all nasty. Weird. <gasps> Ew, that's so embarrassing. Are you embarrassed right now, you blue eyed oh, freaks? Oh. Given blue eyes is a recessive gene, a single S ancestor also requires incest among hairs and kids, doesn't it? No, gene can be passed on for generations without showing. Fuck. Wait, but that still means at one point. Well, at one point we were all. Not me. <laughs> I just Not appeared me. here. I yeah. just appeared here. Don't fucking claim you know where I'm from. Not me. <laughs> what about hazel eyes? Is it the same thing? Hazel eyes is when people with brown eyes and blue eyes have sex. Really? I don't know no, what to even look not, up for that. I don't know. That. I don't I don't know. know. <laughs> that seems like that is how that happens. I want green eyes it's so bad. Mix. Wait, green eyes are literally scary. Like, <laughs> like that's actually terrifying. Me when I'm literally trying to camouflage the grass. Wait, like, yeah. What? like I, There's no way green eyes are literally real. Like when I hear green eyes, I'm like thinking of like neon green. Like I don't think I've seen anybody with green eyes before. Like I don't yes, think I've ever have. met anybody. Cause it's not like green like grass. It's like green like like a hazily like brownish green. Yeah. Like it's not like that is green. Yeah, but it's like a brown. It's like an earth tone green. Hell no, bitches with green eyes scare the fuck out of me. I used to want green or hazel eyes so bad. Both of my siblings, my sister's eyes were the kind of eyes that like look gray in some lights. I wanted that. Which I am so jealous of. And then my brother's eyes are hazel and I have brown eyes and I was so jealous. Like growing up, that's like was my biggest insecurity was the fact that I didn't get like cooler colored eyes. I remember eyes. when I got LASIK and I was like, I'm getting an eye color <laughs> transplant. Like I want blue eyes. And I like made this entire three minute TikTok of me lying and saying I got blue eyes. <laughs> and you eyes. just never posted I'm it. I'm releasing that on Patreon. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Should. I, th I think about that all the time. It was like a funny ass thing to do yeah. because like you literally had like surgery videos of you going in for something. Like for my your eyes eye. literally being picked at with like that hits. video that you showed me. I think about it like once a week. Yeah, it, it was, was so insane. They're like scraping the top of your eye. They off, right? scrape a layer off it's and then they zap you with lasers. The USB for it is just in my room. I was on the floor the other day and I was like, what is this? And then I saw it was really. Yeah, it's just like on a USB like sitting. Why on my is desk. it in your room? Because you watch it on my computer. Oh, word. Because um, I don't know why. I think you couldn't open it on your like the PC. files wouldn't read on my my pc i yeah. also have um i ask for like anytime i get a procedure done i ask for like the footage of it like i got like a full body like either cat scan or mri i think it was an mri and like um i asked for the video of it and i still have it like i love like looking at it and you can see like literally everything you can see like my penis and balls in it. <laughs> seriously it's crazy and there's so many different angles. Like, you can see it sliced, like, this way horizontally and vertically and, like, this. Like, you can... It's crazy. They have, like, hella slices of me. Um, this is the dumbest thing I've ever to say. But talking about, like, like anatomy like that. Um, one time I got the ick because I thought about how somebody I liked, like, how their insides would smell and it actually made me want to throw up. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I was sitting around with them and I was like, ew, like, 
your insides would be like steaming hot and smell so bad. Yeah, it's like a hundred degrees. I think about that all the time. If I'm with oh, somebody that I like, no, no, no. I, that I think is about, not this white man talking about some. He thinks about how the insides of everybody he likes smell. Are you trying to cut me open? Yeah, you're trying to no, murder no. people. I think about the fact that there's just like poop like inside of everybody <laughs> all the time and they have to like, carry around a bag of shit that doo-doo boiling like <laughs> in their guts like have you ever laid on someone's lap and heard their doo-doo boiling like in <laughs> yeah. their like colon um but yeah that gave Literally, me the anytime ink. like i call you out on y'all's bellies growling like it's the shit settling in your colon you oh i was playing fortnite <laughs> and you like literally disrupted me to be like someone's hungry and i was like what and then you were like your stomach and i was like i didn't fucking hear or feel that <laughs> yeah that's my new shit i just want to make it people like notice their bodily functions it's like oh you're like shit's gurgling in there your belly's begging for sustenance my, me. my, my belly's Feed begging me. to be filled Feed me. <laughs> Fill me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that gave me the ick because I was like, ew, that's so gross. Like if someone like split you open, you would smell so bad. Um, granted, like I will never experience that, but the idea of it enough was like very putrid. <laughs> I did not like thinking about it. Interesting. Um, but yeah, in a hypothetical world, I would just kill myself. I wouldn't stay around. <laughs> it's just, it, it's like the idea of like, Damn, you, like, if there was an apocalyptic, like, scenario, why would you fight to survive? I, like... You that, have to no, be a different talk, breed of enjoying just living. We yeah. said that, like, five episodes ago. But for <laughs> me, if we're in, like, the, the rapture, everybody gets taken, and it's, like, just me kind of, like, on Earth, I'd give it, like, a year or two. Like, I'd float around. A year? Yeah, I, yeah, would too. I would experience it. I okay. want to see all the places I want to see, and then I'd kill myself. Like, I'd get to see, like um yosemite and like uh what is it the um angels landing hike which is normally hella packed like i'd get to do that all on my own like all of these national parks that like are like overrun with filth and people like going and seeing it with no one around would be kind of lit i would go straight to the grove and just like start breaking the windows on the (laughs) apple store yeah literally cutting down the trees in the apple store Throw like a hammer at the fucking glass yeah i would do all that stuff that like those like you know those youtube channels where they like break big objects off a big cliff yeah I would just do like all that type of shit. I would Literally, like, drive just my car like, through the Apple yeah, Store. Let all the like um, intrusive thoughts win, because yeah. like, like literally, who cares? The thing is, people always like claim they would do that, but realistically, you wouldn't, because even as introverted as you can be, like everybody needs another human I around. I got Kai, me and Kai. No, but I'm saying you said if you were the last man on earth. I meant like with me and Kai. <laughs> oh, no, but you said going all alone. Like, or I mean, yeah, if you have like one other person, then I could see someone living for a year. But I, I thought you meant like all alone, like mm-hmm. last man on earth. I don't think anyone would survive. I would give year. it, I would give it a year, even, even still. I would just try. Cause like, who knows? Like there might be other fools around. Like if the internet's broken and shit, like how do you know? Like, I, I think just I would, would make it a year, too. Yeah, I think, like, I genuinely could make it a year. I don't think so, because men aren't capable of, like, living alone that long. The visual of us finding out that the rapture happened, and then within, like, 30 seconds, me and Drew are fucking, and Enya's <laughs> killing herself. And Enya's watching and hanging herself while she watches. Her last visual is me and Kai having sex. <laughs> like, we're trying to repopulate the earth. <laughs> the aliens are like, wait, they could probably do this. <laughs> like, they have everything they need, and then Enya just kills herself, and we're fucking... I literally said, like, the other day, I said this dumbest shit ever. You were showing me the... I said it yesterday, but you didn't comment on it like it was dumb, so maybe it's not the dumbest thing ever, but you were showing me, like, computer chips and, like, how, like, really, really deep down into the chip, people leave, like, carvings of, like, little, like, things, and someone left, like, a thing of Eggman, and I was like, in a thousand years, like, say, like, the Earth survives that long and humanity survives that long, we really have no idea of knowing what, like, language will look like, because even language now versus the way it used to be has changed so dramatically, um... And I was like, oh, my God, if somebody like a thousand years in the future was digging through like computer chips, trying to like find any like 
remnants of like what we acted like at this time and they found a drawing of Eggman, they would literally just look at it and be like, who is this human? Like, who, who is, is this it? person? Who is like, we this? have to figure out who this person was. And it's like, oh, like, within ancient times in 2022, like, this figure was very prominent on multiple things. And there's there so many things. billboards of him. <laughs> yeah, like, he was a god. Like, I just like the idea <laughs> of, like, in a thousand years, history being, like, really misinterpreted. Like That's literally all history is, is misinterpreted. <laughs> like, straight it's up. It's just people, like, assuming they know what yeah. was happening. Like, that's... We assume we know what dinosaurs look like. We have no fucking idea what the dinosaurs I know what they look, look like. like. But I'm never gonna tell people. But it is, like... It's, like, the predictions people made of what they look like are kind of almost there. But there's, like, a little tweaking to make them actually look How like How do you know what they looked like? I just said I would never tell. Oh, okay. No, you said you never tell what they look like. How do you know what they look like? I my I would never tell until everything, and I'm not saying it. I'm so excited for Prehistoric Planet coming out on May 23rd. What the fuck is that? Why are you giving an ad for a movie? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's like a dinosaur movie with David Attenborough. It's like all CGI. Uh, I don't know who that is. You don't know who David Attenborough <laughs> no. is? No. He's like the dude who like voices over all of the like planet documentaries. And I'm supposed to know his name. I feel like I, a lot of people know his. I name. know his voice. I don't know the names of a lot of like um, actors. Like I like could recognize their face. Like if I'm in public and I see someone, I'm like, oh, that's so and so, or like just like people in general. But I'm so shit with names. I like don't remember names. I just don't give a fuck. Like, I don't. I really don't care. Like I, I can recognize a good actor, but I don't give a shit. I'm just excited to see dinosaurs, and I'm excited to see Avatar 2. Did you see the trailer for that? Yes, it looks fucking lit. It made me, like, literally emotional. Like, I teared up. I was like, oh, my God, it's finally fucking happening. Like, I think it's going to flop, though. You think so? I'm predicting a flop. I think it's I, I, think it, I don't think fail. it's going to make nearly as much as it did the first time. I don't think it's going to flop. I think they're going to make their money back, but I don't think it's going to be, like, the cultural phenomenon that the first one was this place this is not very connected to it but it fully is this place right off of melrose i don't know what the shop is but they have a huge life-size version of an avatar character and one time i parked right in front of it at night when i was going to an event with elisa and i got out of the car and it was like kind of dark but there was a little bit of light shining on it and i looked in the window and it actually scared the living (laughs) shit out of me because it was just this like eight foot tall humanoid thing in the window and i was like Oh my god! And then it it was like a butt ass naked avatar character. Yeah. Um, but do you see frontal? I wish they had a napkin over it. They had his little like thingy over Loin it. Loin cloth. So can, yeah, you so you can see his balls. I want to see its balls so bad. I hope they like update. I bet they don't have pubic hair. I want them there. to update how they have sex in the in the sequel. I want them to just fuck normal like style. Like human. Yeah. Yeah, that would be pretty. They've cool. adapted. Yeah, I have not. Because they connected it. their tails before. I haven't seen the trailer. Um, I don't watch trailers to movies. I really don't like watching trailers to movies. I like just going in having absolutely no idea what's going to happen and just like looking at the cover art or hearing about it. Like uh, I'm the same way, but this was like one of those exceptions. Yeah, it's like an anticipation. Like, yeah, I was movie. like, holy shit. Like that, like the Joker, I like had to watch the trailer to that because I was like. I'm a white man living in America. Like, of course, I had yeah. to watch. That's, oh, for, I did watch that's that. for us. Yeah, that movie, that movie was for the white men. <laughs> oh, that was made for you guys. <laughs> the incel anthem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Spencer is my um, Joker. Like the oh, movie Spencer, yeah. that's my Joker. Fuck, I always forget her name. What is her name? Kristen Stewart. Yes. She's her. She's giving. I, I always thought um, she was the actress in Stick It. But I don't know. She they yeah, look the exact either. fucking same. But she gives and stick it too. I need both of them to take care of me. Mm-hmm. Like hold me and I can take care of you. No, I want them to take care of me and like. Uh... Let me take care of you in that way. I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking. I know what you're thinking, and I know <laughs> they know what you're thinking. And let me do it. <laughs> let me do it. No, bitch. Oh my god. Also, like, no, because Fine. there has to be a certain amount of taking care that I don't think you can actually like do. And I love you. Stimulate the clitoral head. <laughs> Ew! I'll peel back the clitoral head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just um, you know, like uh like cloth hangers. You gotta like peel it back and then like clip it to like the oh the pubis to like hold up the hood. The mons pubis. 
<laughs> me and Drew have been meeting up and then memorizing studying all the, the different anatomy. parts yeah. of the vagina. Yeah, we've been studying the anatomy just to like we have flashcards. Yeah, just I would in have case to do that too if I had absolutely no real life experience with like another human. <laughs> I've had a bunch, a bunch <laughs> yeah. of experience with another human. Definitely. What's that? Oh, with Guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're like kind of thumbing up. Yeah. Is that like insinuation? Like, he don't sticks, even. Oh. He sticks his thumb in my butt. <laughs> Girl, now what? What the fuck do you want from us? I'm serious. <laughs> like, what else do you want me to fucking no, say? I, like, I what am I supposed to fucking say here? Blah 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 blah. Do 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 do. Suck my ass. There's like. something in the air because I'm also like, like two nights ago, I felt like a wave of like, like it felt like depression hitting the back of my head. And I was like, no. And I just like ignored it. And I came home and I went to sleep and I just like didn't think about it. And then I think yesterday it was kind of starting to show because I like kind of just like had no want to do anything. Like I just like came home and like played Fortnite for five hours. And I think it's been even showing with how much I play Fortnite. Like I, I wasn't like me and Kai were talking about it before the episode started. I wasn't thinking anything of it. The fact that I've been so invested in a video game, like never before. Like I haven't done this since I was in like middle school. Um, but genuinely all I do is like block out my brain and just like pay attention to the screen for like six hours. And then I've been watching shows, which is something I also yeah, don't do. That's my escape is shows and video games. Like, and I've just been escaping from reality. Um, yeah. And then this morning I woke up and I didn't feel very good, but not like bad, but like not good. It's just like that weird in between of like, literally like my brain is like fully like numb like there's like not a single there's like not a single like i don't know that's so interesting because i i just got super depressed again like four days ago and i feel like a bunch of my friends did too yeah and i'm, yeah, I'm, it's I'm the always fucking like lunar eclipse bro oh really <laughs> yeah it's the gravitational <laughs> everybody's the gravitational depressed bro it's the, the fucking retrograde bro exactly <laughs> it's the lunar eclipse bro I always no, you said it so much well that's actually funny that like y'all are depressed because i'm actually really fucking happy now remember when y'all made fun of me for being depressed yeah. well now i'm the fucking happy one no you're sad right now too no, no i'm actually i've never genuinely i'm not joking today i woke up and i was <laughs> the happiest i've ever been in my entire life i don't get depressed you were the happiest. I think you're ever doing been. the gag we did to you when you were trying to say you were depressed. I think you need a gag. Oh, oh. I love to do that, so I will. Thank you. <laughs> Next. Gargle these balls. Chill. Don't, don't fucking talk to me like that. If you need it, though, I, I'm here. Really? Yeah, I'm here for you. I am really sad, <laughs> and I need it. I always, I always wonder though, because like when I'm sad, I'll be like. Oh, everyone else must feel this way. But then sometimes it does seem like everybody does get sad at the same time. And I'm always like... It's the Bay be... Hive. Yeah, it's the Bay Hive. <laughs> like, where the hive mind be Beyonce hive mind. <laughs> yeah. Kai, finish your thought. I'm cause... always like... Um, it would be <laughs> cool if there was an hive. app that everybody was like, just rate your mood on from like 1 to 10. And then you could see like how everybody feels like it's in Los Twitter. Angeles. Yeah, TikTok. Twitter and TikTok. <laughs> um, but mean? no, I know what you're saying. To, to get like an overall mood of the city. Yeah, like, if I could just wake you know up and be like. You know what's fucked up is there's some fucking cunt bitches out there who wake up every single day feeling the exact same, which is like fully fine. A majority fine. Uh, yeah. of the population yeah. is So you would like see that. that it's like an average, I feel like, of a 7-8. Like, cause is most people the, like, I feel like most people are depressed as shit now. I think we just live in a fucking bubble yeah. where everyone around us is depressed as shit. Cause we're all like fucking creatives and literally don't have fucking schedules. And every one of our friends is doing nothing all the time, except for like doing nothing. <laughs> um, so we live in this like little echo chamber of depression and we all ask each other like, yeah, I'm depressed too. I'm sad too. But like the normal person is not depressed. Yeah, because like even like the people watching this, I feel like could agree to what we're saying. But even that, like as big of a community as it seems, like it's mm -hmm. such a small scale. I mean, think about this. Like, yeah, most these people, bitches are depressed. Yeah, most people who watch <laughs> this aren't like, oh, I fucking love shopping at PacSun. That is my store. Like, yeah, that's yeah. like you can get things that like most people would like at PacSun or like Forever Twenty One. Like, think about these conglomerate brands that are bigger than you could ever imagine. Like. The people who regularly shop there, that's the people I'm talking about. Where it's just like, 
you go to the mall and you go to the store that's at the mall and you get the clothes that are at the mall like being given to you like depression erasure it's like by erasure but we're like (laughs) erasing people's depression Um, but also with that being said there's a lot of people who don't recognize it as being depressed like i feel like a lot of people in my family like very obviously have like whether whether it is like clinically or they have like um what it's like clinically and then it's um like it's based on events like there's like another term for it that's like not necessarily depression but it's like like circumstantial yeah like circumstantial like Mm -hmm. whether it be that or the other like so many people in my family don't recognize it even when it's like this is a very valid human reason to be so awfully upset and sad and just like feel no hope but you are obviously ignoring it and like really suppressing it and just like moving on and carrying the idea of like, Oh, whatever it happens to everyone, blah, 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 like this, this and that. Mm -hmm. Um, and I feel like that's why it would be like a seven and eight because it's like most people don't even recognize, don't recognize. Also bitches lie. Yeah. Like people are liars through and through (sighs) and they'll lie about how, yeah, that would also require that people are like emotionally in touch. With like how they're actually feeling. Yeah. Because like I'm Most ju- I'm not joking. Not 150 million Americans are not alive. Like I truly believe that. <laughs> I genuinely with my chest believe that like there's no way every person on this planet is actually sentient. <laughs> but that's another conversation. I, I believe that they are all sentient and that's what scares me the most. Is that like being in public, like every time I see like I'm in a group of people, I just look at everyone's face and I'm like, dude. All these people have like felt some sort of emotion that I have felt and like have at least one idea that we fully connect on. And I that scares the fuck out of me. Like the fact that like, damn, I really am just another fucking bitch on this planet. I really am just another goddamn fuckhead (laughs) who's like existing. Well, you know, it's like, you know, it's exciting, but it's like scary is that everyone died this morning. So like we're the last three people on earth. Like we're it gonna. Does, I'm not kidding. Say that, but I keep like. I know there's no, there's 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 no birds. There's no there's bugs. There's no plane. Like where's Azul? I haven't seen Azul today. Like it's literally us three, and we're gonna release this episode, and it's gonna get like maybe three views. And the three and views it's gonna be is us three, three watching. Yeah, it's three us watching. checking on it to like yeah. get the link to share it. Like yeah. that's exactly. what the view is. Um, also, let me rephrase. Like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with liking clothes from Pakistan and Forever 21. I just want to clarify that. I just, I fast don't. Fast fashion, fast fashion. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fast fashion. Um, there's literally nothing <laughs> wrong with shopping. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with shopping there. I'm not trying to be big headed, but I think like, if you're like, if you were listening to what I was saying, you kind of get what I'm saying. It's just yeah, like, yeah. it's easy as an individual who doesn't partake in that to be like, literally who is wearing that? But there's so many people who do partake in that. And that's kind of like the idea like of depression. It's like, who else is feeling? That? Like, it's easy to feel like no one else is feeling yeah. it. Yeah. Um, we should all just be depressed together. That's what Judaism is. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So it's not like, I, okay, what it's it not is, like something is to look can, to for faith. It's I, like. I know I convert people when they're at their lowest moments. Like, when they're at their lowest, most vulnerable mo- moments, I, like, swoop in and I convert them to Judaism. The Dude, Druid. that's a cult. That's, like, really bad. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, oh. I'm running a cult. Do something about it. There's 200,000 of us. Like, what are you going to do? Are you claiming that every single person who watches the episode <laughs> is a part of <laughs> Druid Judaism? just looks at the amount of subscribers <laughs> for the podcast and that's the number that exactly. <laughs> The truth is growing. We're almost bigger than Mormonism. We are bigger. Mormonism? <laughs> We How are many people bigger. partake in Mormonism? What, what is that? Um, what is that? Some dude found like a gold book under the ground. And then like it's like talks about like people living in a volcano and shit. They Okay, I Googled <laughs> I googled how many Mormons there are and they have an exact number. <laughs> this is true. 16,663,663. Members. That's funny because there's 16,663,004 and four. <laughs> <laughs> Druthers, <laughs> and we just hit five. <laughs> oh my god, Druthers! Getting a counter, and <laughs> yeah, it goes up literally. every few seconds. It's like, <sighs> yeah, literally. And, but Druth- it would have to go down every few seconds too to like be like real, because no. some people have to tap out. No, did we talk if you about tap this out, you die. on oh. the Patreon or on the on YouTube? People were asking what you thought about the Drew Barrymore thing. How no, we shows. talked about it on the public episode. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. People were wondering if like you had beef with her. 
No, no beef. No, there's no beef. She's that's our girl. That's our girl, but it's the beef within the producers. Yeah, it's the beef with the writers and the producers. Yeah, it's like mm. do do your do do your Drew di- diligence. Yes, <laughs> your Drew diligence. Find the truth. Do your Drew diligence. <laughs> Um, I think I'm just going to be like a detective when this all blows over. You're like, going to be a detective. <laughs> yeah. when, the, when the rapture happens to to like f- <laughs> to figure, figure out, out who, did, who it. did it. An internet sleuth and why they chose us to be the last three. Oh my God. You know what we need to talk about? That awful fucking comedy show at the Renaissance Festival. Oh. That greens me the fuck I out. thought he had some funny jokes and that the audience was just kind of not into no, it. No, he had funny jokes at the end when he was like being a little passive aggressive and making kind of gnarlier jokes to like really ramp it up to get like shock value. But like, dude, when we got there, it was like, I, I, it was fucking me up. Like, yeah. I, f- I felt like there were there had to have been cameras around somewhere. Like it literally like made me feel brain dead. Like I literally like I couldn't gather. We're like- also heat exhausted, uh, exhausted. <laughs> we don't didn't have any water in us. Like I yeah I also it had was had a meal yet. I had like a like a bottle of water, like crumbs of everyone's food, and then like two sips of white wine. It and was, I was like- ninety seven degrees, and I ate hot fries. Or I mean, I ate hot fries with nacho cheese on top, so cheese fries. It was really nasty. Yeah, it was really, really awful. I, w- I kind of ate it because I was like, I need diarrhea right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm constipated again. It didn't work. You needed diarrhea at the Renaissance I'm like, Festival I'm under 97 key. degree weather in a hot porta potty. Yeah, I love the smell of fucking boiling shit in the whole porta potty. I love a good I can't believe experience. anybody used a porta potty that day because that's all I could think about is I was like, it is so hot. Yeah. Oh my god, ew! <laughs> I've been like low key ODing on um, magnesium trying to get this turd out. <laughs> It hasn't come out yet. You need to go get a colonoscopy. What is it I called? I do. I literally need a Where they like pump water in you and like oh, a take a colonic. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what you need. I need a colonoscopy. And you they need, need to, to be go emptied. There. You need to be emptied so yeah, bad. Yeah, they need to empty me. <laughs> I need a colonoscopy. I can empty you. <laughs> that's what friends How? are for. Um, by your member. <laughs> not the other one. <laughs> You're just like, no. <laughs> no. That's not what Not I need. again. <laughs> I'm not falling for this again. <laughs> Um, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. Oh, wait, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, I'm gonna have to kill you. <laughs> Fuck the blame. <laughs> Isn't that the song? <laughs> fool me three times. Oh, fuck the peace on. Um, and let it rain on you. Yeah. Pull the chopper, let it rain on you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, we finished Candy. Yeah. Um, we finished Candy and I really liked it, but then we started The Staircase and I really thought about it. And I was like, damn, Candy, that show was really fucking bad. It sucks compared it was, to The Staircase. Like, it's not a bad show, but it's like not nearly as good. And my one gripe walking away from Candy, if you did watch it, it's like, and if you didn't watch it, whatever, shut it, fuck you, fuck you. Um, It's based in like, what, the 20s? Like. No, the 60s. The 80s. I think it's 70s. in the 80s. Dude, 70s. okay. I could not fucking grasp because... 80s, 80s, 80s. The costume design was so fucking the bad. The 20s? The costume design... I don't know you why. You thought that took place in the <laughs> No, 20s. I was thinking of like Marvelous Mrs. Maisel's... Don't they Maisel's, like go watch like, Star Wars? Yeah, all the literally. I, I was thinking of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel's like outfits and then thinking about the outfits that some of the girls wore. I think that's what was confusing me is the uh-huh. costume design was really fucking bad and like some of the uh-huh. clothing looked like way too new fast fashion-y. Does that make sense? Like I feel like the, the quality of clothing even on camera for like the 80s is really different than quality on camera for clothing now. And all of the clothing, I felt like they had just purchased from a thrift store They're in LA that was like drop shipping. Award. They're going to win an award for costume design. I'd be shocked. Um, um, also, you can't just throw on big funny glasses on people and be like, that's the time frame. Well, no, that's what the girl IRL Oh, wore. no, not candy. Like her glasses were fitting. But like there was almost too many people with those exact like style of glasses and i'm sure all those people in real life wore glasses but all of them like i don't know what something about it felt like i was watching people like cosplaying like that's literally what it was uh, no but it's different because now we're watching staircase and it's based in like a lot of the footage is like they're showing like old footage from like the 90s and like 
it's all based in 2001 and I don't for a second question that that's when it was happening. Like not for a second am I like, oh, this feels you like it's happening You just have a better now. grasp on the 90s. You were born closer to it. No, the costume designing of Candy sucked. It bothered me so much. The set design and costume design. Also, like the some set design was literally like uh, mid century modern furniture from like IKEA. Yeah, it, it like all looked so like the newer renditions of what those things looked like, which I'm sure obviously like what they're not gonna source like real like nice furniture from that time frame. But um, yeah, like even some of like the kitchen appliance looked so like new and like out of place in some frames like some frames when candy's in the kitchen it looks like they put something on the counter to fill the frame up a little bit because like it was barren and they were like fuck we should have got more but spoons. you don't feel that way about marvelous mrs Maisel? um no i think marvelous mrs Maisel has like a little bit of like campiness to it because it's like a comedy yeah that i don't even really question a lot of the stuff happening and like the homes they live in feel like they're so obviously like older homes. Like that's mm. what they like look like, whether it be like the framing, like the crowning, the structure of all the homes. Um, and I think it gets a pass because of like, it's a bit campy because it's like an old. It's like a caricature. Yeah, almost. it's like a caricature yeah, almost of sense. what that time was. And a lot of like the moral ground play is like still very real, but it's very like super colorful and like loud because and then when it's like well, sad it's really like dull like color until like the 40s so it's weird that they had that like the no true the, um you just like a lot of like photo and video didn't have color but like that they there was color no how is that even possible you think like wait, how did how would cameras record in black and white wait i'm sorry are you are you saying that you thought not only objects but people were black and white and gray in the 20s yes <laughs> yes wait that just reminded me i think fuck my ear keeps falling off ian um, yeah. remember when he was like guys they turned off the color in my seat he, and he just had a black and white filter on that was like literally the funniest video I've ever seen. Like one of the funniest. It videos was during uh, the beginning of COVID. He was like, "Holy shit, things are already happening in my town. They took <laughs> away the color." <laughs> well, yeah, they can do that. Yeah, if you're being a bad boy, they turn off. Yeah, they turn so off just the saturation. Like, be very like cautious. Um, it it just sounds like you kind of still believe it, so I'm just gonna like move on. Um, but yeah. I didn't like it. I did not like it one bit. Staircase is so good. It's actually really gnarly. Have you been watching it? No, I started watching Candy because you guys were talking about it, but I wasn't super into it. But Staircase Switch is to way staircase. better. Staircase, staircase. Okay. The fourth episode of Staircase is probably one of the best episodes of television I've ever seen. <laughs> See, that's how I know I'm not in a good place mentally because the fact that I watched Candy and I was like, this is so fucking good. This is amazing. I, every show, I'm not joking. I've said this once. <laughs> I'll say it again. Every show or movie that I watch instantly becomes my favorite show or I movie know. I've ever watched. Drew, like literally, okay, you didn't, I don't think you caught yourself, but who were we talking to about it? You said to someone, you were like, the third episode of Staircase is the best, is top, easily top three the best tv episode i've ever seen and then the fourth episode you said that about the fourth episode i think the next i meant day. the fourth episode oh, okay because yeah. you kept saying three and then you were like the fourth no, episode I, and i, I was like the he's gonna say this for every episode that no, it's like the I, best episode i meant i meant the fourth when i was saying that um do you think it's better than any breaking bad um a few breaking bad episodes yeah I need to have sex with Walter White. I need to. Oh, but not the actor, like Walter White. Yeah. Like him. Heisenberg? Yeah. Yes, I need. Oh my God. Heisenberg oh, could like wait, would you, literally would you break fuck my him back. Pre or post Heisenberg transformation? Oh, post. I'm not post that pre free. Nerd freaking music. <laughs> yeah, he was like sad. I'm like, oh, my life is so sad. Me. I'm sad. Like, I need a boss bae. Yeah. I need a boss babe. And mm. Mr. White is a boss babe. Yeah. Um, yeah, I need him. I need him really bad. My anxiety <laughs> toe is back. Your anxiety toe? Oh, mm -hmm. picking your toe? It's back. Um, in a very scary way. Ew, is it nasty? Is it like if you got in a pool right now and then got out after like an hour, it would look like disgusting? Yep. That's like the worst part of being a nail biter is like being at the pool with your friends. Mm -hmm. 
because it shows. It shows. It's so nasty. It shows. Um, what else y'all want us to talk about, huh? <laughs> I have bomb. Oh, wait. I can't say that. <laughs> that is actually a good idea. Um, I need to I re-bleach have? my eyebrows, but I don't know if I'm going to bleach my eyebrows again or keep them the way they are. I don't know. Guys, comment down below for me. <laughs> Guys, let me know what I should do. I just keep... Every time I bleach my eyebrows, I burn the fuck out of my skin. Also, I think I have skin cancer. Oh. oh, join the party. I go to the dermatologist tomorrow morning, so I'm going to have her look at it, even though I don't think that's like... Sh- I'm going to her for my acne. There's no way she's going to know. But you're going tomorrow morning? Yeah, at 11. That's why I said one. Okay. Um, And I... Ow! My fucking nail just, just fell off. You just ripped that shit off. Holy shit. That hurt so bad, but like also felt kind of nice. Um, but I have like a freckle that is not the color of a freckle and it's not a freckle. It's just a gray dot that appeared on my arm. And I look at my arms a lot because I admire my freckles a lot. And also I put lotion on my arms every single night and day. Um, so this is brand new and I've never seen it. I'm just going to assume I got stabbed with a pencil when I was pencil little pencil and it's lead. like lead. Yeah. I stabbed you with a mechanical pencil in your sleep. Um... Why would you do that? You don't have a mechanical pencil. Yeah, I do. I have a bunch. And I do it to everybody. I mark them. <laughs> like I a... mark my people. I'm territorial. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say in a territorial way or yes. like... No, in a territorial way. All right. Um, well, my media is The Staircase. Um, <sighs> please... You stole that from me. You're so annoying. I said it was my media. It was your media last week. Was it really? Yeah, you talked about it last week because you had started it last week. Oh my God, I dropped my nail. Um, my media of the week. Also, we both, that's all we've been watching. Um, I've been watching my media of the week is then say the other things you've been watching. The, my media of the week is the staircase. And, um, I will say if I love, um, like true crime things, but this show is pretty gnarly. So please watch at your own, um, what's it called? discretion yeah discretion viewer discretion is heavily advised the last episode like the fourth episode actually fucked me up um in like a gnarly way that i've never experienced from i've only experienced like maybe twice in my life from movies and i don't like it's it's not something i would ever watch again this is not a show i would ever rewatch because it's really fucking gnarly um but yeah the fourth episode is really hard to watch so keep that in mind. But it's a really good show. And that fucking actress from Hereditary, that motherfucker, her in her past life, she did something. I don't know what she did. She sold her soul. Yeah, she is like way too good at playing like the way she plays. Like it's I don't like it. It's scary. Um and then do you want to do your visual media? No. I'll do do it all at once. Okay. Um and then my audio media honestly i don't even know what i've been listening to oh yeah i do i do um uh, it's a rap by mariah carey it's all songs that i've said before but i'm like starting a new playlist of all the songs that make me happy because i need something to make me scream and like shout and like have fun Um, drama by roy woods and drake what a fucking classic yeah yeah no (laughs) need to pretend (laughs) I couldn't tell if you were singing it or like just saying yeah like that. Mm-hmm. Um, Unhappy by Outcast, My Baby, Janet Jackson, and Shown by Ball Grease. Grease. Well, I've been on like a really weird vibe um, music wise recently. Um, and I've been listening to like all of Aphex Twins, like really weird fucking songs um, like Milkman and Beatles. Uh, those two are like hitting for me right now. Um, Milkman, Beatles in the carpet. Um, the man. Yeah, and then since we're on Aphex Twin, listen to Selected Ambient Works Volume Two. Um, it's a really, I think it's probably like one of the best, if not the best. Album from him? Um, no, ambient album of all time. Oh, wow. Um, I think it's like that and fuck, what's that other dude's name? Um, I think it's Brian Inu. Yeah, I was going to say, I love the, my favorite ambient albums are literally Ambient 1 and 2 by Brian Inu and Harold Budd. 
yeah ambient one music for airports um is like the other like really really great ambient album and then my visual media is nick a 30 on youtube he's like this Fortnite youtuber that i've been watching um and i used to watch him back in like 2018 when i was like super into Fortnite, um and like me and jake would like talk about him um but like when i still lived in texas and um his videos are just so wholesome and he like doesn't cuss in them and he makes it like a very big point not to cuss in his videos and i just think it's really cute um and his videos are wholesome yo i curse so much when i play fortnite you get mean <laughs> I, hate, I heard something last night i was like whoa you know what it is i hate when people tell me what to do when i'm already fucking doing it and that happens when i'm playing fortnite all the time yep. because you can't see what someone's doing and when you're playing in like a trio or a squad when or I'm like, like help duo, me help me help me and no one's helping me and but like it's like not even that like that i get it but um when i'm like already doing something or someone's like don't go too far and i'm like bitch i'm literally like around the corner from you like that's, fuck you. that's our trio's go-to it's like stay don't. Close, together stay together yeah and i'm like i'm literally here <laughs> and also it pisses me off because everyone always leaves me like and i'm the one who's like chasing after everybody because nobody says like where they're going like when you're playing when i to, when, like, I, when we're playing i mark where i'm going i'm like we're going here and i mark it with the big spire every yeah, time i i do that too i'm always like i'm gonna go here and then bitches still want to be like don't go far and i'm like I, ju I just told you where i was going because i need to get a gun yeah and it pisses me off no, I can't. I can't keep playing Fortnite, but I am going to play it immediately when this camera turns off. Like I'm literally yeah. like I'm like itching for it. I need it. Y'all need to stop commenting about me and Fortnite on t on TikTok because there was a TikTok that was on my timeline that I was like I've been away from my um my PS4 or something for like three hours now and I still want to play <laughs> I'm Fortnite. I'm at prom and, and I'm shaking because I haven't played Fortnite in three and hours. And the top comments were like Enya, Enya and Drew, Enya, Enya and <laughs> it's, Drew. It's real. It is so real. Um, People see that and they're like, who the fuck is Enya and Drew? I know it, I know it pisses bitches off because they're like, fuck those losers. And I'm Good. like, you're Enya mad. Enya bitches are mad. Ah, ah, you're, you're mad. mad. You're, so you're mad. mad. <laughs> Look at us. Look at us. <laughs> you're mad. Not you being mad. Oh, not you being mad over a name. Literally, oh, you're mad. That is me. Fuck. You're mad. That's literally. I'm just gonna say suck my balls and you're mad now. And like people I love are saying like suck mad. my balls. I literally am always like suck my big fucking balls. Yeah, bitch. You're mad. You're mad. All right. Well, <laughs> well, that's our media. That's the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're still alive, please leave a comment because I don't know if anybody's <laughs> I, alive. I don't think there's I another literally, human like, on this earth. I don't think so. I literally think I'm about to go log on to Fortnite and it's going to say that's going to take like an unannounced time to yeah. match make because there's no other human on earth. <laughs> literally. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.